welcome to my channel. Today I'm talking about when things appear to be going wrong. So everything seems to be building to go the wrong way. So you want to manifest something, you're starting to see the opposite show up or you're seeing snippets of the opposite. You're, you're seeing um, snippets in your 3D reality that show to you that everything is going wrong and this is not gonna work out. Now I'm gonna say that 50% of my manifestations have happened this way, it's usually been the bigger things that I didn't see coming at all because I didn't see the plot twist. And now that's what I do, plot twist. I used, I ha, I've been through, I tried to say success, like Florence Scovel Shin would suggest, and I couldn't get on with that. So I changed it to part of the bigger picture. I used that for a long, long time. And now I use plot twist because plot twist is really light. <laughs> plot twist. Uh, and that is what's going on. So, so, so you have a choice in the moment when things appear to be going the wrong way. Now, whatever choice you make is gonna be what you see show up for you in your 3D reality because your 3D reality is linked to your 4D. So whatever's going on inside of you is what you're gonna see on the outside. So you have a choice. You can go, of course this is all going wrong because this is what's happening and these are the circumstances and this has happened in the past and this person is like this. Okay, so then you shift into that energy. So then you see more of the opposite happening until the opposite has completely happened. Or you go, I do not understand how this is gonna happen. And I do not understand, I have no idea how this can make itself right, but plot twist, right? And then you go a different way. So you don't go with that energy. You don't have to think of the positive. You don't have to start visualizing or affirming or anything like that. In fact, it's best not to when you get to that stage because you have to allow and you can't allow while you're doing all of that. But what you do want to do is avoid that stuff because as I've said before there was a scientific study done that said it's far more beneficial for us as human beings to drop the negative than it is to try to be positive so it's the same kind of thing drop that don't have to bother about that but don't um over no overwork it because what can happen is you see the opposite happening and you do start overworking manifestation because you're panicking and it won't result in a change while the underlying parts of you are in contradiction to it, the, the deeper parts of you. So you just got to accept that this is a plot twist. Now, I was thinking about this, thinking why have some of my manifestations come in almost just the way I was expecting? And I think it's, it's the bigger things that I couldn't really see happening. I, I kind of thought, could that even really happen? Could that actually ever resolve itself um, or work out for me? I just couldn't totally accept that it could happen but obviously I knew it was a possibility because I wouldn't have attempted to manifest it. I wouldn't have got clarity on it I decided it's what I wanted because if you think that if you thought something was completely impossible you wouldn't even go there you wouldn't intend it because you just wouldn't even go there so you know it's possible just by intending it and deciding that you want it to be in your reality that's what you want your reality to show to you but it's all about your energy so it's deciding in the moment what your energy is going to be now don't think of it as being deluded because like who cares what's going on in your head apart from you nobody cares nobody knows but you have to work with it you have to see it as energy and work with energy work with the energy you have you are um, capable of evoking work with that don't work with it in the way that it's so easy to drop into the negative energy because it's very familiar to us and it seems acceptable, it seems plausible, it seems rational and the other stuff doesn't, but this isn't rational as we know rational. As we understand rational to be, this isn't it, is it? But it is a fact, it is what's going on here because I've, I've seen such crazy things happen in my life that logically shouldn't have happened. I am gonna make a video about all the crazy stuff that people have manifested, really crazy stuff, I mean, that proves that we are definitely shifting in reality in some way or other, we're bending it or shifting it or whatever, because it's stuff that's appeared in people's reality that wasn't there the day before, physical things, situations that have changed that, that other people didn't realize were different apart from the person that was manifesting it. Honestly, I've got so many stories built up and I am going to make a video about that when I can collate the, the most shocking ones to put forward here and I'll hopefully do that next week and I, but it's going to take a little bit of thought for me so again you make the decision which way you're going to go with this and you have to look at it like this because you don't want to go into victim mode and it's so easy for us to do that because part of us what uh kind of don't want to say wallows in victim mode we kind of we get something from it i don't know what that is it's like are we punishing somebody by going into that mode do we feel like we are i don't know what it is but it's a kind of a natural human thing 
uh, where part of us kind of, we, we wouldn't say we enjoyed it, but there's there's something about it because if there wasn't, we wouldn't let ourselves dwell in it. There's something going on there, but I, don't, I can't really put it into words, but we have to decide that we would experience more of that if we go down that track. So let's not, what can we do? And the easiest thing to do is to not go down that track and just not try and manifest more from this. Just go, I don't get it. I cannot. I mean, I've had things that are disastrous things that I felt were going completely disastrous and really got right to the wire and then turned around. Like turned around to the point where I thought, oh my God, this is done. You know, this is a done deal. This is worst case scenario. And then it's not crazy. Like again, I could make videos about so many different things like that that have happened in my life. And that taught me, the last time that that happened was a situation with Harry and his friend, which I can't talk about. It wasn't really with Harry, it was with the friend. And um, that was probably a couple of years ago now. And that really showed me that this was what was going on here because I forced myself to go, I, this is gonna sort itself out because it's what I really, really want. And I could just think, I just really want this to be sorted. And I knew I really wanted that without any caveat. So I knew it kind of had to. So I thought, okay, this really looks to be going completely the opposite way, but I have to accept that it's part, this is part of the bigger picture. And what happened leading it to turn around was actually the best thing that could have happened because it sorted it out to an even better degree than I was expecting it to. Like me going into too much detail. So again, I, and at that time I was going part of the bigger picture, but definitely now I go, oh, plot twist. Cause I find that much more light it's kind of, it makes you sort of wonder, oh, plot is, you know, when you watch something and you're really thrown off by something that starts happening, you think, oh my God, I can't see, where are they going with this? That's what how you've got to think of it. Where, where is reality going with this? Oh, wow. And, and you're really kind of, you can be confused and uh, apprehensive even when you are watching something sometimes, aren't you? And it goes a certain way and you feel apprehensive when you're watching something that you're invested in. Is it going to end up this way or is it this character going to do this or do that? That is what you have to look at it like and think, well, why the hell not? Why not try and be a bit lighter about it and enjoy this a bit more? Or I suppose sometimes we can't enjoy it when it's something we really want, but we certainly can be lighter because actually manifestation is about flow. It's not about try hard. It's not about force. It's not about push. It's about, it's free flow. It's like you, you're just sitting on a little boat and you're, you're gently um, going downstream. But you know, if you got out of the boat and tried to push it against the tide, that's what you're doing when you overdo it with manifestation and it doesn't go anywhere. You're never going to get anywhere, are you, while you're doing that, while the tide, the current, what do you call it in a stream? I'm not sure, where, where it's going a certain way, uh, you, you cannot force against it to your betterment, can you? Uh, you might get a little few inches, but you won't get very far. And that's what this is like. It is about flow. It's a bit about relaxing and going... What can I do in the moment apart from control my energy? Because we can do that. If we say we can't, we can. Yes, we'll get triggered. Um, for sure, we'll get triggered and we'll have a reaction. But then how are we going to react to that reaction? How are we going to pull ourselves back from that? We do have control over that. So as much as we say we don't, we do. I don't think we, I personally don't have control over those triggers and things that happen and I react to something in my head in the moment. But I do have control of where I go when I've noticed I've done it total control of that and that's what I've changed and I don't have a reactive nature anymore it took me six months but I did it because I did ultimately take responsibility for that go that is your responsibility no one else can change that apart from you so what are you going to do about it so again I would say what are you going to do about it you know go down the route of plot twist or you're going to go down the route of oh that's it it's all gone wrong of course it has and go into victim mode and I I don't really like to use that term because I don't want people to think like oh you're calling me a victim I'm not because I've done it myself um but we I think what we we need to be honest with ourselves about victim mode and accept that we do that as human beings not all of us but a lot of us tend to do that when things start to go wrong and we feel hard done by so we do go into that mode but actually that's just going to make you feel more hard done by and more hard done by because it's an energy and it's not the energy that's going to help you so everything that you do you want to guide yourself towards what's going to help you what's going to be beneficial what not what's not going to be beneficial because you'll just get stuck in an energy but you are in control of that. So you are in control of, even if it's like little things that you do different than you have been doing, 
you're in control. If you don't feel like you can go the whole way, you know, really turn it around, really turn your head around and you're, and I even I find that hard sometimes, but you can pull yourself back from those negative thoughts. You can stop them. You can, you might go back to them again, but then you can pull yourself back again. But it, you have to be strong-minded and go, this is what I want and I cannot get this while doing this. I can't do it, it's impossible. And you know that really, we all know that, we feel it. Intuitively, we know that that's the case. We don't understand it, but we know that's what's going on. So I want this, so I have to make sure that my energy is more in line with that than it is with this. So more in line with plot twist, more in line with, whoa, what's gonna happen here? Gosh, can't see what's gonna happen here, part of the bigger picture, than, oh my God, I knew this would happen. Of course it would happen. You know, it's two different energies, even feel them, sit there, take five minutes and feel different energies. Go, feel the energy of disappointment and then feel the energy of happiness. Feel the energy of frustration and then feel the energy of optimism. Just do that, practice with it so that you can see that actually it is energetic, you can feel it. When we think of people, we don't just see pictures of them in our head generally, we feel them too because we're evoking the energy, the energetic form of them within us. We don't just see them unless we're just sort of daydreaming, but generally, if you're really deeply thinking about somebody, you are actually evoking the energy of them within you too. Okay, right, I'm gonna stop it there. Thanks so much for watching. Hope this is useful. I'm a manifestation coach, I'm an author, and I'm a mindset coach.